Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm bringing you my June TBR. So here are all of the books that I hope to read in the month of June. I'm kind of being ambitious, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Before I get started on my whole June TBR, I also have an announcement to give you guys in this video, and that is that I'm going to be doing a read-along with Dana from the Book Hoarder, reading Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami throughout the month of June. We've decided to make it a really, really, really easy going read-along. Basically, you just have to read the book in the month of June. It doesn't matter when, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. We are using the hashtag ReadNorwood, which I will leave right here for you guys. If you use that hashtag on Instagram or Twitter, we will be following it and kind of like responding back to you guys and keeping up with that and also we will be using that hashtag in all of our posts as well and at the end of June on June 30th at 8 p.m. we're actually going to be doing a live show where we talk about the book on Dana's channel I will leave all of those details for you in the description box down below I have been wanting to read this book for a very long time I actually started it not that long ago and then I put it down and kind of just like got into a reading slump and never got back into it so I want to start it from the beginning and I mentioned wanting to read this book in my summer reading TBR uh, video which I will leave linked down below for you guys if you haven't seen it and then Dana tweeted at me letting me know that she's been wanting to read this for a really long time as well and we decided to kind of do it together and buddy read it and then we also decided to basically buddy read it with any and all of you that want to buddy read it along with us. I know that this book is about a romance and I also know that it's Murakami's most well-read novel. I don't know if it's necessarily his most popular. I would be tempted to say that but it's the one that most people I know have read and I really 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 like Murakami's writing style so I'm really excited to dive into this one and see if it's as good as everyone says it is. I will leave Dana's channel linked down below for you guys and if you guys have any questions just leave a comment down below. Now on to all the other books that I want to read in the month of June. First of all we have The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. Truthfully I will probably be done reading this book before this video goes live for you guys but just in case I'm not I wanted to put it in this video for you guys so you might actually be seeing this in my June TBR and also my May wrap up which would be weird but possibly accurate. We'll see. Uh, this is the fourth and final book in the Raven Cycle and I just honestly am just not like emotionally prepared to finish this book. I've been like prolonging it for a while now uh, because every time I pick it up I kind of like have this like overwhelming feeling of emotions and I'm just like not ready for the series to be over. So it's been taking me a lot longer than it should but hopefully I will finish it in the next day or two. Next, I want to get to Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. This follows a main character named Solomon who has agoraphobia, which is uh, the fear of basically the whole world and the outside. Uh, he's been cooped up inside for, I believe, three years. I could be wrong about that. Don't hold me to that. And it's about what happens when he meets someone who kind of teaches him and shows him the ways of wanting to know the world and see the world and have friends. From what I've heard from other people's reviews on this, it's really, really, really well written. I've also heard nothing but good things about John Corey Whaley's writing, and I have not read anything about him yet, so I really want to dive into him as an author, and I'm also really excited about diving into this book in general, and I'm really excited to see whether all the hype is worth it. Also this cover, though. Next we have another author that I want to read for the first time and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This book follows a main character named Andy who is a list-based person. She plans everything out. She has a an idea and a plan and a thought process for everything and it's about what happens when her life kind of tumbles out of control without her meaning for that to happen. And I've heard, again, nothing but good things about Morgan Matson's writing style, and I've also heard that she is the perfect summer read, so I'm really excited about diving into this. It's a bit bigger, it's at least double the size of Highly Illogical Behavior, but I really, really, really want to get into this one, and I'm really hoping to do it this month. Next we have two books that have literally been in every one of my TBRs for so long that I feel like putting them in my TBRs is actually kind of a giant waste of my time and a giant waste of your time, but I'm going to do it anyways. And that is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss and Winter by Marissa Meyer. At the beginning of this video I mentioned how I can't finish The Raven King because I'm just so worried about the series being over. Exact same problem. I've been halfway through Winter for like four months now and I'm just, I don't want it to be over and I feel like maybe if I just never finish the book the series will never be over. And I realize that that's just illogical but uh, I'm doing it anyways. So I really 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 need to finish this like super soon. I just haven't done it yet and I feel like if I keep putting it in videos I'm gonna feel pressured to finish it and maybe I'll actually finish it. To be very clear it has nothing to do with the like quality of this book. This series is one of my favorite series of all time. I would highly recommend the Lunar Chronicle series. I just like really don't want it to be over. If anything it's a testament to how much I love this series which is a lot. And the same thing pretty much goes for Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. Uh, the third book in this series isn't out yet. Uh, the first book is by far the best book I've read in the last five years if not possibly my favorite book of all time and I'm really concerned that the second book will let me down and in the same idea I'm worried the second book's actually gonna be better than the first book and then I'm not gonna have anything else to read by Patrick Rothfuss and I'm just gonna be like devastated. So I haven't finished it yet because I'm putting it off. I'm basically procrastinating both these books for like the oddest reasons. But I'm doing it and I should stop doing it. So I need to finish this, hopefully this month. 
Okay, so that is my June TBR. What do you guys plan on reading in the month of June? Please comment down below and let me know. Also, make sure to comment down below and let me know if you plan on participating in the Norwegian Wood read-along with me and Dana. I would love it if you did, and otherwise, I will see you guys soon with another video. Happy reading. Bye! You're bopping. They can't hear the music. That's fun. They'll know what's happening. For those of you who don't know, Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box of geek and gamer stuff and every box is guaranteed to have a t-shirt in it. <laughs>